Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a REST API to send a JSON object. Well, let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create a REST API. So go to controller package, right click on it, new and then choose Java class and let's give class name something like message JSON controller. All right, hit enter and let's annotate this class with at rest controller annotation to make this class as a rest controller and then let's use again at request mapping annotation to define the base url for this controller so let's say api slash v1 all right next let's inject the rabbitmq json producer so just type private rabbitmq json producer and let's say json producer and then let's use you know constructor basically dependent injection to inject this rabbitmq json producer so i am going to create constructor over here perfect now we have injected rabbitmq json producer next let's create a rest endpoint so here let's type a public and then the return type of the method is response entity and then pass a um, string as a type to this generic class that is response entity class and then let's give you know method name as something like send json message something like this let's annotate this method with add post mapping annotation to handle http post request and let's also provide the rest api uri let's say publish next let's pass user object as a method argument and let's use the annotation called at request body annotation to convert a json into this user object perfect so once we got the user object next we need to call the json producer and then call its method that is send json message and then just pass user object to it all right and then return response entity dot just call ok method and then simply pass some message in the response let's say json message sent to rabbitmq something like this perfect now we have created a simple rest api it will handle the http post request let's run our spring boot application and let's call this rest api to send a json message to the rabbitmq so I'm going to stop the existing server and I'm going to restart the Spring Boot application. And there we go. There are no errors in a console and our Spring Boot application is running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 80080. Now let's open the Postman client. So I'm going to use Postman client to send the, you know, post request, but you can use any REST client that you want. So I'm going to create a new request over here and just choose http post method and then type the url http colon local host all right and then 8080 slash api slash v1 slash publish all right and go to the body in a body select raw and content type json and in a body just paste the json id 1 post name ramesh last name further now let's go ahead and let's click on send button and there we go the rest api got a success response with status code 200 ok as well as this message in a response now let's go to IntelliJ idea and let's verify the log statement in a console and you can able to see json message sent and this is the user object okay so this log statement we have provided in a rabbitmq json producer if you look at here json message sent followed by the user object okay so in order to verify whether this exchange you know routed this message to the queue or not what we can do we can use the rabbitmq management console so let's go to browser and just access the rabbitmq management website using this url localhost colon 15672 and just provide the username as a guest password as a guest and click login and go to queues 
and you can able to see here java gets underscore json queue is created and just click on it and just scroll down and click on get message and you can able to see the json message in a queue it means that the rabbit mq json producer we have written is working as expected okay and you can able to see here this json message is successfully stored in a queue and if you go to exchange to just you know verify the binding so go to java gets underscore exchange and you can see the binding over here okay so this exchange is bind to this queue using this routing key so there are total two bindings one is to store the string messages another is to store json messages all right by looking into these bindings you can easily understand that how exchange works behind the scene to route the messages to the respective queues using routing key so very very simple isn't it so that's why always try to use this rabbit and queue management website to track the you know the messages in a queue as well as the bindings in a exchange so let me recap what we have done in this lecture well we have created a simple rest api that is published rest api it will handle http post request and then it will internally call rabbitmq json producer to send a json message to the queue and then we have verified that json message in a queue by using rabbitmq management website all right great in next lecture what we will do we will write a rabbitmq consumer to consume the message from this queue okay so so far we have seen the message in a rabbitmq management right but we have to write a rabbitmq consumer to consume this message from this queue in next lecture we'll see how to implement a consumer to consume this message from this queue all right great i will see you in next lecture